Well, let's go through all the different types of osteotomies very briefly. So there's something called the high tibial osteotomy, and it can be cut from either side of the leg. And this is the tibia. So in the tibia, generally we see a lot more patients when they're bow-legged have this. And what we do is when we cut the tibia, it's like imagine a green stick or a green twig. We cut one part and open it up. We want to keep the other side attached. That is the most common type of osteotomy in terms of the tibia that we do. And this is to straighten the leg. A lot of people that have meniscus tears medially or they come in with medial arthritis of the knee. And I see very, these very commonly in both different sections. If we do it for arthritis and they're under 55, we can see really good success rates with around 90% making it up to 15 years. Again, assuming the other side of the knee is good. On the other side of things, there's valgus, which is where your knee is not kneed. Those patients tend to need something called the distal femoral osteotomy, and that's where we cut the, fem the femur and we open it up on the femur side or the higher part of the bone. And this is where we can straighten the knee. And this is a really good one because partial knee replacements laterally just are not as common. They don't do as well. And so for patients that come in in their 40s, 50s with isolated arthritis on the outside of the knee called the lateral part of the knee, this can be an excellent procedure. And many times patients come in, they've never heard about this. Another osteotomy is called the tibial tubercle osteotomy. Again, this is an extensive topic. These are patients that have dislocations of their kneecap, generally cartilage damage. And when we, when we do this, we can shift the kneecap with the tubercle osteotomy. In addition, we can lengthen it or shorten it so that the kneecap sits better, but also takes the pressure off the knee. So we can shift it down, we can shift it over, that takes away the dislocations and takes the pressure off, and we can also shift it up so that you don't load it at certain areas. So this is where these are very, very important procedures and why they can be so effective. 